My sole objective is to prove to you that time travel exists in the next few years. In fact, I, myself, am a time traveler. Time traveling is fascinating, and I don't know anyone who wouldn't want to try it. But is it possible? In 2028, the private organizations will admit to the world that time travel is real. Well, the people you are about to meet have told the world they are time travelers. But if we had some proof of time travel. That's not what I agreed to in this interview. We know that what I'm doing, the, the organization that I'm part of, the stuff we do works. And, our, and it's not for you to question our methods. Join us as we look at shocking time traveler stories that will leave you speechless. The Sergei Ponomarenko story. Sergei Ponomarenko is famous for a strange and dramatic episode in 2004 involving an alleged alien abduction. He was living in Krasnodar, Russia when the incident occurred. He was 29 years old and worked at a local construction site the incident apparently took place on August 24, 2004. Pano Marenko stated that while working late at night, he was approached by a group of mysterious individuals who led him aboard a spacecraft. He described the beings as humanoid with extraterrestrial traits. Pano Marenko described a succession of unusual incidents, including strange lights and the sensation of being immobilized. He described being examined by extraterrestrial beings. When Pano Marenko went home following the claimed abduction, he reported experiencing bodily symptoms, such as pain and burns on his skin, leading him to assume he had come into touch with an extraterrestrial craft or individuals. The tale rapidly went viral and was covered by numerous media outlets, piquing the interest of both UFO enthusiasts and skeptics. As with many abduction cases, detractors questioned Pano Marenko's testimony and proposed alternate interpretations for his encounter. Sergei Pano Marenko's account fits into a larger context of purported alien abduction scenarios that originated in the late 20th and early 21st centuries. These myths frequently reflect humans' interest with extraterrestrial life and the unknown. Many claims of alien abduction are frequently studied, with experts looking into the psychological, sociological, and environmental aspects that may contribute to such tales. Sergei Ponomarenko's allegation is part of a wider narrative, including alien abduction accusations. While there may be different levels of belief in such encounters, Ponomarenko's story exemplifies the intricacies of human experiences and perceptions of extraterrestrial phenomena. The public's interest in these claims continues to drive debates regarding the potential of intelligent life beyond Earth and the nature of unexplained phenomena. Jofar Vorin Jofar Vorin's story first made headlines in the early 2000s when he was reported as a time traveler from the year 2256. According to the story, Jofar Vorin claimed to have journeyed back in time to provide information about the future and warn people of imminent disasters or important changes. Vorin's stories frequently incorporated prophecies about technical improvements, political transformations, and sociological shifts. He claimed to be speaking about humanity's future and provided detailed details to back up his statements. His story frequently appeared in online forums, notably those devoted to science fiction, conspiracy theories, and discussions of paranormal happenings. He became a figure that some people took seriously, while others saw it as a comedic or fictional scenario. Vorin's narrative, like other claims of time travel, is met with suspicion. Many people believe it is a fictional construct, like other urban legends, and there is no real proof to back up his assertions. The Tord Man Urban legends about the Tord Man involve a time traveler or interdimensional wanderer, a 1950s man reportedly arrived at an airport with a passport and toured. Credentials. Airport officials were confused when shown these documents because Tord is not on the globe map. The man stated Tord was a country between France and Spain and wondered why it wasn't on the map. The man's statements intrigued and baffled airport officials who investigated his claims. His passport and other paperwork were authentic but the lack of a Tord nation aroused questions. The Tord man disappeared after being held in a hotel room while officials investigated. He never returned, fueling curiosity about his identity and origins. Many versions of the Tord man's story involve time travel, 
interdimensional travel, or parallel universes. This individual may have come from a toward recognized country. This urban tale has been repeated several times with new details. It appears in mysteries and unexplained phenomena descriptions. Despite its appeal, the toward man myth lacks reliable evidence. Many consider it a modern myth or tale rather than a true story. The Moberly and Jordan case. The 1901 Moberly and Jordan case involving time travel and a paranormal experience at Versailles is well known. It is named after English women, Charlotte Ann Moberly and Eleanor Jordan, who claim to have slipped across time at the historic location. Moberly and Jordan were upper-class, educated women. They were history and literature buffs and women's suffragettes. The incident occurred in August 1901 at Versailles. They had their experience while exploring the castle gardens and grounds. Moberly and Jourdain felt strange and disoriented as they strolled around and approached the Petit Trianon, a modest chateau in Versailles' gardens. The women saw apparitions of 18th century dressed figures they assumed were spirits. They said they saw Louis XVI and Marie Antoinette. They felt like time travelers. After their trip, they saw a major change in their surroundings from current to historical, which suggested time travel. Moberly and Jourdain wrote An Adventure about their time travel trip in 1911. Their story sparked popular and academic debate regarding paranormal phenomena, history, and reality. Critics have stated that the women's experiences may have been caused by psychological phenomena, like suggestibility due to their background and expectations when visiting a historical site. Others believe Moberly and Jordan's understanding of French Revolution history may have shaped their visit. Time travel, paranormal, and historical enthusiasts are still fascinated by the Moberly and Jordan case. The Curious Case of John Titer the early 2000s threads about a time traveler named John Titer are well known online. Titer claimed to have flown back in time from 2036 to collect an IBM 5100 computer and give future forecasts, including devastating disasters. Titer stated that IBM's C204 X-Wave and gravity distortion technologies would power his time machine. Titer predicted a U.S. Civil War a third world war and social and political changes, and predicted a huge confrontation in 2005. Advising people to prepare for tough times, he stressed community and resilience. Titer's story went viral and captivated online groups. Many people followed his posts to discuss and learn about his assertions. His story sparked media coverage, films, articles, and books on time travel, alternate universes, and conspiracy theories. Skeptics and detractors criticized Titer's account for inconsistencies, scientific plausibility, and lack of evidence for his future promises. Numerous debates have suggested Titer's story was a fabrication or a role-playing game that took off. Conspiracy and time travel discussions still center on John Titer. It has left a cultural mark on UFO and paranormal discourse. If I remember correctly though, nothing major happened in 2005 so it sounds like a hoax to me, but hey, I could be wrong. Andrew Carlson. Andrew Carlson claimed to be a 2256 time traveler. His arrest in 2003 came after he allegedly made millions of dollars in stock market trades in a short period of time. According to the narrative, Carlson was jailed for stock market manipulation after profiting handsomely from his bets. According to reports, World Weekly News, a satirical and fictional website published the tale. The essay discussed Carlson's assertions, time travel, and future forecasts. The piece quickly went viral, drawing conspiracy theorists, UFO aficionados, and time travel fans. A closer look revealed that the Andrew Carlson narrative was a fake or satire. Carlson's time travel claims were unsubstantiated. Old Swiss Watch the discovery of a 100-year-old Swiss watch in an ancient tomb sealed over 400 years ago would certainly generate substantial concerns and excitement among archaeologists and historians. The finding of a relatively recent object sealed over 400 years ago would call into question current understandings of chronology and artifact provenance. 
Archaeologists may be perplexed as to how the watch wound up in the tomb, raising concerns about the tomb's genuine age or the watch's origin. One option is that the tomb is not as ancient as previously believed, or that the context of the discovery must be reconsidered. There could be evidence that it was not sealed as expected, or that the watch was added later. While intriguing, concepts such as time travel and other unusual explanations are more commonly associated with science fiction than reality. However, such stories frequently captivate the mind in popular culture. If a modern timepiece was discovered alongside ancient antiques, it could spark questions about cultural exchanges, the preservation of goods throughout time, and how modern items are seen in relation to old behaviors. While the precise scenario of a Swiss watch being discovered in a sealed ancient tomb is most likely fictitious or speculative, it does serve as an intriguing thought exercise on the intersections of history, archaeology, and time. Discourses centered on such discoveries reflect our fascination with the past as well as the complications that occur while studying ancient cultures. Future Roadside Restaurant, 1972, Highway 56, which was believed to be haunted. In the 1970s, the future roadside restaurant on Highway 56 became well known in local mythology and ghost stories, particularly for its haunting. The restaurant was part of the traditional Americana roadside dining culture that arose as the interstate highway system spread in the United States. Such eateries were created to serve passengers on long road trips. A substantial portion of its lore dates back to the 1970s, when roadside attractions and cafes proliferated and became associated with numerous local ghost stories or urban legends. Patrons reported weird experiences such as mysterious noises, apparitions, chilly areas, and items moving by themselves. Employees also recounted experiences about feeling uneasy or noticing strange things while they were alone in the eatery. The haunting was most likely caused by the ghost of a prior owner, staff member, or a sad event that occurred at the area. Common themes in hauntings at roadside establishments include abrupt accidents or significant historical events. Like many haunted places, the future roadside restaurant became part of local legend, grabbing the interest of individuals fascinated by ghost stories and paranormal activity. It could also have attracted adrenaline seekers or paranormal investigators. The establishment may have acted as a storytelling platform, encouraging the community sharing of personal experiences and spooky tales while captivating the imaginations of both locals and visitors. Depending on the outcome, the future roadside restaurant may have gone out of business or been turned into a new establishment. The legends surrounding its alleged hauntings certainly add to its legacy. Rudolf Fence. Our next story begins in 1951 when a guy named Rudolf Fence appears in modern-day New York City dressed in 19th-century attire. He seems lost and perplexed, completely out of place with the people of the time. As the story progresses, it is revealed that Fence had unexpectedly transported from the year 1876 to the 20th century with no idea how he arrived. Following an investigation, it was determined that Fence had been gone for nearly 75 years. His things included items from the 1800s, such as a top hat, a pocket watch, and 19th century letters. The narrative closed with a twist in which a detective speculated that Fence's unusual appearance in the present was caused by something supernatural or scientific. The story of Rudolf Fence has taken on a life of its own and is now presented as a genuine story or anecdote rather than a work of fiction. It is frequently discussed in the context of urban legends and time travel stories. Could Rudolf Fence be a real time traveler? Your guess is as good as mine. Philadelphia Experiment and Montauk Project. The Philadelphia Experiment and the Montauk Project are both notorious subjects of conspiracy theories and science fiction stories about time travel, advanced technology, and alleged government cover-ups. The Philadelphia experiment purportedly occurred in 1943, when the United States Navy conducted an experiment at the Naval Shipyard in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. It is reported to have involved the USS Eldridge, a naval destroyer escort. According to the story, the experiment was designed to make the ship invisible to radar. 
However, claims indicate that the experiment went tragically wrong, leading the ship to not only turn invisible, but also teleport to Norfolk, Virginia, and then back to Philadelphia, implying time travel or time-related phenomena. Those who purportedly took part in the experiment are said to have had serious medical and psychological difficulties, with some crew members becoming merged with the ship's metal infrastructure. The United States Navy has consistently disputed the existence of the Philadelphia experiment, and many experts see the story as an urban legend or hoax. Nonetheless, it has captivated the imaginations of conspiracy theorists and pop culture, inspiring books, films, and documentaries. The Montauk Project is a conspiracy theory that claims covert government experiments were conducted at Montauk Air Force Station in New York throughout the 1970s and 1980s. These tests allegedly included psychological warfare, time travel, teleportation, and other sophisticated technology. One of the primary characteristics of the Montauk Project allegations is the creation of a time travel program in which people can be sent back in time or interact with alternate realms. The project is also linked to reports of mind control experiments and the production of bizarre animals known as the Montauk Monster. The Montauk Project, like the Philadelphia Experiment, lacks strong proof and is widely considered a conspiracy theory. Many people believe the stories surrounding these claimed tests are false or overblown. iPhone in an 1850 painting A piece of artwork created in 1850 depicts a woman holding an object that many observers have compared to a current smartphone. The picture, The Expected One, is by Ferdinand Georg Waldmüller, an Austrian painter noted for his depictions of rural life and landscapes, which are distinguished by their realism and attention to detail. The picture depicts a young woman, maybe a peasant, clothed in traditional garb, standing in a natural location. She appears to be looking off into the horizon, waiting for someone. The gadget she is holding is a little rectangular item that many have compared to a smartphone. This view has prompted charges of anachronism and conjecture regarding the picture. The photograph became viral as people shared it online, stressing the subject's apparent modernity and commenting on how it appears to reflect a setting that may fit into modern life. The artwork has sparked debate on perceptions of time, technology, and how humanity has long attempted to express and comprehend their existence, regardless of period. While the analogy with a smartphone is humorous and captivating, art historians underline the necessity of understanding artworks in their historical and cultural settings. The painting's subject could be a book, mirror, or other period-appropriate item. The concept of discovering modern products or ideas in old art reflects a greater cultural fascination and serves as a commentary on how society perceives and interacts with technology over time. The conversations surrounding The Expected One have rekindled interest in Waldmüller's work, leading to investigations into his broader artistic achievements and topics. Mobile device in 1943. Another photo, apparently taken during World War II in 1943, captures a moment on Towen Beach in Newquay, Cornwall, UK, and suggests the possibility of another time traveler. During this period of global conflict, beaches in Cornwall were frequently used for military training and enjoyment. Viewers noticed that one of the beachgoers appeared to be dressed modernly in the shot, prompting concerns about time travel or evidence of people from the future appearing in the past. The appearance of this image sparked discussions on time travel on social media and other platforms, leading to a variety of theories and interpretations about the photograph's nature. Despite the attractiveness of time travel stories, photographic evidence can frequently be deceptive due to factors such as costume trend at the time, visual interpretations, and even photographic artifacts that can confuse viewers. The so-called modern outfit may not be what it seems. Styles from the 1940s featured simple designs, and certain clothing pieces that were casual may now appear more current in retrospect. While the snapshot of Towen Beach taken in 1943 may have raised suspicions regarding time travel due to the clothes of some of the people recorded in the frame, such assertions must be approached with skepticism. Despite the excitement that such visuals elicit, there is currently no scientific evidence to support the reality of time travel as it is frequently portrayed in literature.
time-traveling hipster. The next photograph depicts multiple men, with one individual standing out due to his clothes. He wears sunglasses, a logo-printed t-shirt, and a striking hairdo that many viewers consider strange for the period. The snapshot recalls a point in history when Canada was embroiled in World War II, and the man's casual outfit seems out of place in comparison to the styles of the day. The man's odd look has sparked speculation that he is a time traveler who has unintentionally drifted back into the past. This notion has been propagated sarcastically, claiming that he is a hipster from the future. The photograph has been widely shared on social media, frequently with captions exploring the potential of time travel, accompanied by memes and amusing commentary about the supposed anachronism. Critics frequently point out that the hipster label is a modern invention, and what looks to be hipster apparel may not be as out of place for that era as it appears. Throughout the 1940s, people used sunglasses and casual clothing in a variety of settings. Fashion can change dramatically over time, and it's typical for people to misunderstand historical photos through present perspectives. The snapshot became a focal point for conversations about time travel, UFOs, and other speculative notions, adding to the abundance of urban legends that exist in online culture. The time-traveling hipster mythology, based on a 1941 photograph, exemplifies how current interpretations can result in strange myths about historical imagery. While it is a lighthearted and entertaining concept, it is vital to approach such stories with critical thinking, acknowledging the cultural context of both the original artwork and the modern interest with concepts such as time travel. Chaplin's Time Travel The Circus is a silent film about Charlie Chaplin's legendary character, The Tramp, who ends up in a circus and becomes a humorous performer. The film contains slapstick comedy and touching scenes typical of Chaplin's approach. In recent years, a certain scene from the film has received notice, particularly one in which a woman walks along the street and appears to be conversing on a cell phone. This moment was caught as the film was repaired and digitally saved. Some viewers speculated that the woman was using a cell phone, implying that Chaplin had dramatized time travel by showing modern technology in a 1920s film. This has sparked amusing debates and memes regarding whether Chaplin had any prophetic visions about the future. Critics and film historians point out that the woman is not holding a smartphone, but rather something that resembles one, such as a compact or a basic device that people regularly carried at time. The interpretation as a time traveler utilizing modern equipment is thus regarded as a misunderstanding based on contemporary expectations. The claim that Chaplin was representing time travel is more of a commentary on the progress of technology and culture than an indicator of Chaplin's aptitude or foresight. The incident serves as a reminder of how films may engage with modern culture and how audiences can interpret cinematic moments in novel and unexpected ways. Charlie Chaplin is an iconic character in film history, noted for his ability to combine humor and social critique. The concept of Chaplin's time travel is based on a whimsical interpretation of a scenario in The Circus, in which a character appears to engage with technology that did not exist at the time. While it's a fascinating notion, Chaplin's first intention to depict time travel exemplifies how modern audiences might reinterpret ancient material via contemporary glasses. Chapman's legacy is rooted not just in his comedic talent, but also in the continuous debates over his films and their significance in diverse contexts. Noah Time Traveler Noah claimed to be a time traveler from 2030. He started writing on forums about his travels and the future world he came from. He predicted a variety of future events, including governmental upheavals, technical breakthroughs, and social situations in the following years. Noah presented detailed descriptions of future life, including technological breakthroughs and sociological changes. His assertions included descriptions of new inventions and shifting political environments. His stories frequently incorporated observations on current societal concerns, challenging readers to contemplate the ramifications of their actions for future generations. Noah's statements, like many others about time travel, were received with skepticism, Critics pointed out that time travel is still a theoretical idea in physics, 
with no demonstrated means for really traveling to the past or future. Many people regard stories about time travelers as imaginative storytelling rather than credible accounts. Noah's story is part of a long heritage of urban legends and science fiction scenarios that deal with time and reality. His assertions became part of the popular web culture surrounding time travel, while his story drew both supporters and critics, adding to the growing curiosity with the subject of time travel in general. Some of these were almost believable and amusing, but I will believe it after I actually travel through time myself. Which one was your favorite? Why don't you let us know in the comments below? Well, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give us a like and let us know in the comments what you think. Check out our other videos and subscribe to be part of the fun. Click on the notification icon so you can see our new videos as soon as they're uploaded. Thank you for watching and see you next time.